Ethiopian Educational Media Agency presents English for Grade 8. This is program 24. What do we need for a picnic? Produced by Srafel Zode. Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Hi, Hi friends. friends. Tola, could you lend me your pen, please? Will you, would you, could you, could you? Oh, uh, do you want to sing the song? Yes. yes. That's good. Students, do you remember the song? All right. Let's sing it together. Sing after three. One, two, three. That's good, students. Let's sing it again. After three. One, two, three. Will you, would you, can you, could you open the door, please? Would you open the door, please? Please, please, please. Very good, students. Tola, could you now lend me your pen, please? Of course, but where's yours? I forgot it at home. Really? Yes, I wish I hadn't forgot it. Okay, here it is. Oh, I want the red one. I don't have a red pen. You don't have a red pen? Yes, but I wish I had a red pen. Did you forget it at home? No, I lost it yesterday. Really? Yes, but I wish I didn't lose it. Oh, Tola, you should say, I wish I hadn't lost it. Why? Oh, let me tell you why. Let me tell students too. Students, Tola and Azeb are talking about their wishes. You know, when we wish something at the present time, we use the simple past tense. And when we wish something in the past, we use past perfect tense. Hi, Lu. Please tell us again. Okay. When we wish something at the present time, we use the simple past tense. For example, He is late today. I wish. I wish he wasn't late today. That's right. And in the past? When we wish something in the past, we use the past perfect tense. For example, He was late yesterday. I wish. I wish he had not been late yesterday. You are right, Tola. Students, now listen to Tola and Azeb talking about their wishes in the past. You mean using this? Right. Students, now listen. Tola? You didn't wash your face. Yes, I wish I had washed my face. And you lost your pain. Yes, I wish I hadn't lost my pain. And you didn't find it. Yes, but I wish I had found it. I wish the same. I too. Students, have you listened to Tola and Azeb? All right. Now listen to them telling me their wishes in the past. Listen. Tola? Yes, Hailu. You were late yesterday. Yes, I wish I hadn't been late yesterday. Azeb, you didn't do your homework yesterday. I wish I had done it. And you forgot your book at home. Yes, I wish I hadn't forgotten it. Good. Now, Tola, you lost your pen last week. I wish I hadn't lost it. And you took your sister's pen. Yes, but I wish I hadn't taken it. That's good. Students, now doing the same way with your teacher. Teacher, please tell your students one by one what they did or didn't do in the past. Then make them express their wishes. For example, call a student by name and say, you didn't come last week. Then the student should respond as, I wish I had come last week. Or you didn't comb your hair yesterday. So that the student should respond as, I wish I had combed my hair yesterday. Do the activity with as many students as you have time for. You have about two minutes.
Thank you, teacher. Students, now let's sing our song again. After three. One, two, three. That's good, students. Let's sing it again. After three. One, two, three. Will you, would you, can you, could you open the door, please? Would you open the door, please? Please, please, please. Very good, students. Tola, I want to go for a picnic. When? This weekend. Can I go with you, please? Of course you can. What things do we need? Well... Just a minute, Azeb. Students, Tola and Azeb have planned to go for a picnic. That's a trip for pleasure. And now they are talking about the things they need for the picnic. Listen to them. Listen. We need some food to eat. And we need also some fruits to eat. Yes, and we need a knife to cut the fruits. Right, and we need a teapot to make tea. And we need much to light fire. That's good, Azeb and Tola. Students, listen again to what Tola and Azeb need and why they need it. Listen. We need some fruits to eat. Students, why do they need some fruits? Tola? To eat. Students, why do they need some fruit? Yes, they need some fruit to eat. And we need a knife to cut the fruits. Students, why do they need a knife? Azeb? To cut the fruits. Students, why do they need a knife? Yes. To cut the fruits. Yes, we need a knife to cut the fruits. Students, say, we need a knife to cut the fruits. Say again, students, we need a knife to cut the fruits. Good. Students, you are going to tell your teacher the things you need and why you need them. But first, listen to these examples. Listen. Tola, what do you need when you come to school? We need a pen to write with. Good. Now, Azeb. We need books to read. That's right. What do we need in classrooms? We need chairs to sit on. Yes. Azeb? We need a blackboard to write on. Okay, now Tola. We need a radio to listen to. <laughs> That's very good. Students, now do the same with your teacher. Teacher, please ask your students one by one what they need when they go for a picnic, or what they need in a classroom, or what they need when they take exams, and so on. Help them to tell you why they need the things. For example, Call a student by name and say, what do you need for a picnic? The student should respond as, we need some food to eat. Or, what do you need when you take exams? We need a pen to write with. And so on. Do the activity with as many students as you have time for. You have about two minutes.
Thank you, teacher. Students, now let's sing our song one more time again. Sing after three. One, two, three. Will you, would you, can you, could you open the door, please? Would you open the door, please? Please, please, please. That's good, students. Now it's time for us to go. Yes, it's time to go. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. You've been listening to English for Grade 8, Program 24, written and produced by Srafil Zodeh. Join us again next week in Program 25. Till then, goodbye everyone. Goodbye.